Welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. Here's a quick lesson in dry baking 101. Again, if um, anybody, yes! The special things that we have are the unicorns, they, cause they actually have magic. They have magic? Uh -huh. Okay, go by. Only if you give them candy. Oh, only if you give them candy and sweets, oh. To make their magic actually be real, oh. you have to give them anything that has sugar. Did you hear the stomping though? I'm just saying. So anyways, if you enjoy my content, if you enjoy my cooking tutorial and we ate at the same time that I feel like I am stuffed, it was so good. That first bite, it just hit me. It was like <sighs> grandma's house all over again. Oh man. You can always send super chats. You can always send super stickers to my channel of your choice of your amount. Uh, whatever you like to show your love and appreciation to my channel. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was like, thump. like, like she was way more than mad. That, that's, that sounded like she was in attack mode. Welcome to the channel yet again, guys. That was Despicable Denise. With her slick begging, honey, when Gypsy came up to her to start talking to her, she really wanted to cook that baby. I, I hate to say it, but you could tell how she looked at her, how she talked to that baby sometimes. That little girl be getting on her nerves, and she feel a lot more like her than the other one. This other kid don't want to be seen, but she ashamed. Honey, Gypsy don't care because she sees the benefit in everything. But yes, that's how to dry big 101. She starts the conversation, then she throws that if you guys want to. And now she's being slick with it because, you know, she's worried about all the uh, content creators that do commentary on her channel. So she's trying to be uh, find another way to, to uh, accomplish her goal, let's just say. Um, but, yeah, she, she comes in now. If you like my commentary, you can send this, you can send that. Or if you like my uh, video, not commentary. Anyway, guys, another thing I wanted to talk about, just, just the, I don't really get these people, and I don't really get the people that give to her. I get that people go through these tough times and you want to help, but this woman in the last 14 days has asked for you to feed her family at least three to four times. She's asked for you to uh, buy off a wish list for her children going to school. And most of which was on that wish list was a bunch of $200 gift cards. She also asked for you to buy things for her daughter's birthday. She asked for you to give her 300 and some odd dollars to pay for her lodging, which I'm pretty sure she uses her social security check at the first of the month and pays that for the month. And she also asked you to help her uh, with things that they needed. Now, mind you, she alleged that she had two jobs and that she was working two jobs. But in the time period that she claimed she was working these two part-time jobs, she wore the same shirt for over 10 days. So she ain't took some clothes off at all. Probably ain't even washed. So what job she going to like this? I mean, for real, what job are you going to and you ain't watching? So, like I said, the beast has a uh, social security income for her kids. She also has a uh, YouTube revenue. But yet, you can't see anywhere that she says, oh, I used my money to pay for such and such. It's just like straight begging. Like, I, I don't even know how channels like this are even allowed on YouTube. And it's quite sad that uh, YouTube, although there are a lot of channels on here, that they would allow our space to be invaded by such degrading shit like this. But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, freedom of speech is just that, I guess. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think about this. All the begging, her channel, how she handles things, the whole nine. Let us know what you think. We will definitely talk about it and continue the conversation in the comments. But I just really think, just like that news article from several years ago, 2014, when she had her oldest daughter 
um, on the news talking about homelessness. This is 10 years ago, yet she is still in the same situation, just at a different place. She is not even showing any attempt. Now, she alleged to have been getting an apartment not too long ago, but remember, her subscribers send money for that as well. Anyway, guys, tell me what you guys think about all of this. Tell me what you think about how she is handling this. And do you think that people doing things such as this should be uh, in jeopardy of losing custody of their children? Because of the dangerous nature in which they are housing them. Because yes, they have a roof over their head. But if you have to completely rely on other people to take care of your kids, why do you have them? You can get food stamps. You're getting uh, social services benefits for these kids. And then, uh, but at any second, you could be in a position to where you got to go to a homeless shelter where you allege your children are in danger. So why should the social services system allow a mother to keep them kids in that type of situation when they could foster them somewhere where they could be cared for better and safe? Tell me what you guys think. We'll talk about it in the comments.